through. I'm going to be making some wheat loaf. And now I'm just kind of plan making my own good things. If you don't have any, you can just toast up some bread. I just like to kind of crumble it up. And I just do this in a little paper bag, a plastic bag. And it gives you some nice little chunky pieces. Just kind of finish crumbling some of the bigger chunks by hand. You can use panko, you can use seasoned breadcrumbs, regular plain breadcrumbs, or pieces of bread. It's totally up to you what you would like to do. And when I'm cooking, I don't really measure. I've done it so long now that I just learn to eyeball it. And that's just, unless it is a recipe that I am not familiar with, then I probably will. And then even that, I'll freak it to make it my own. Add a little bit of this. Take away a little bit of that. Yes, in the bowl. Okay. In the bowl. Put in the bread box. In this bowl, I have chopped red, yellow, orange bell pepper, and ginger, garlic, and white onion. And I'm going to be using ground turkey instead of ground beef. Okay, and I have a little seasoning blend here black pepper, lorry seasoning salt, some adobo, some sazon, some dry thyme, and a little bit of ground mustard. Pour that in. And then I'm going to just rinse off the packets or the containers that the ground turkey was in. Rinse them off just right now. Use my kitchen scissors. You gotta be careful when you open up these ground turkeys because see all that purge running down there. So I'll just blot that on that towel, paper towel. And I'm just gonna put that meat in. I always rinse off the outer packaging. Okay. Try to get out as much of that blood as possible. I don't want that in there. of that. I'm just going to wash my hands off. Okay. And I 
two eggs. Put that in. my hands again Don't you see I have all my ingredients in there clean hands what a mix and if I'm gonna mix with my hands I generally take my rings off set them to the side because I don't need all of this food goodness getting caught up in the nooks and crannies of my diamonds Clean that out of there. That will not be cute. Raw meat stuck inside your room. No. Okay, I still have my oven at 400 from doing the corn casseroles, and you'll see that video as well. And I have a pan here with some of those. Um, Reynolds Kitchen's uh, baking sheets, and then I sprayed a little butter spray in there so that everything doesn't stick. Okay, I'm just going to rinse this stuff off, but if you can see, everything is well incorporated. sheet in it. Here's my mixture and I'm going to put it in there and form it. I'm back. So I have it in here. Oops. Sliding on the paper. And I have this little handy dandy tool. I just rinsed it off. And um, you can chop with this tool. You can chop. You can scoop things up. I use it to help form my meatloaf, when I make meatloaf. And the breadcrumbs and the egg help hold this together. So we got it all formed. I'm going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 40-45 minutes and we will have our meatloaf. I will do a short to show you the finished product. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video.